Welcome back everybody. It's Hawaii day two. I woke up in there. Really cool resort by the way. Probably the nicest place I've ever stayed. And obviously like I said it's day two so I have no agenda except to go to well back to the other side of the Island. So oh my goodness yesterday was rainy and I'm probably gonna get rained on again today. It looks like it's supposed to rain. I mean to see what the wind speed is. Eight miles an hour? Wow, it feels a lot faster than that. High of 12, 15, yeah, it's not bad. Okay, it, it seems windy if you're standing out there by the beach, it's just blowing like crazy. My boots got destroyed and so they have not dried out. My gloves did somehow. I guess my boots are thicker. And while I'm not gonna be scared to drive in the rain again, I'd rather not have soaked boots that I'm standing in because I'm still like, I still feel really wet. It's just because it's so humid here. All right, here we go. Little wind up noise, button. <laughs> Okay, cool. I noticed yesterday, and you'll be seeing this again, I tend to uh, not have my feet up like this. I have my knees out all the way out there. I have them both like widespread. And I think it's because my, ne <laughs> my legs are just so long. I don't like leaving them both up here together because then my, my legs get like tired or sore. So I just like bleh, I sprawl it as much as I can. It'll show me remaining. And it says I have a lot of gas remaining, 86 miles. That's enough to get back to the south side of the island, but I think I'm gonna wanna get gas before then. Anyway, let's try to get out of here. Oh, 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 you know what? Before I take off, before I take off, there's one thing I wanted to mess with, and that's the mono shock adjustment right here. Let's see, that's righty tidy, lefty loosey. Oh, it's, it's, all, it's all the way loose? No, it's not. If this is lefty loosey, I'm gonna loosen it like all the way. Cause I don't hit bumps much, but when I do it, Socks. Okay, I see there's there's distance down there for how long the spring is. That's a lot of twisting to adjust it. Oh man, I was just gonna clutch, but my fingers are tired from twisting it. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah. All sprawled out and out of breath. Nice little groove there for motorcycles. Thank you. Alrighty. Feels good to be back out on the motorcycle. Dude, look at those fat boy bicycles. Those are cool. You know what else feels good? No rain. Feels pretty good. Oh no, do I have to stop here? I don't know why I'd have to stop. There's a little camera. Please proceed. I can do that. Now, assuming my GPS isn't lying to me like I did yesterday, then uh, it's only going to take me an hour to get back to the other side of the island. Man, that's fast. Uh, I got this. I got this. Ain't no thing. This bike can go if it wants to. I would like to get out into a nice bigger straightaway and like really wah, give it a go. By the way, with the shock loosened? <laughs> That's more fun than it used to be. I wanna go there. I wanna drive, oh, wah, dirt path. Give me a dirt bike, let me go off road. Oh, I'd be cool. I've been on this bike for like two minutes and I'm already like tired of like, see, you have to hold, for me anyway, because my legs are so long, I have to hold my knees up here. They don't rest. If I were to let my muscles in my legs go, they fall out like that. And that's a lot more comfortable for me, but obviously <laughs> looks a little retarded. I got no problems looking retarded though. I'm all about that. Granted, however, I also think it's because I'm tall that I tend to do this, but this this is comfortable for me. This is like, oh, oh yeah. Speaking of which, I'd love to use cruise control right now, but I'll wait until like, I don't know, if they have fast roads out here. By the way, yesterday when I drove out here, freaking the speed limit was like, the highest I saw was 45. I don't know what the, ha ha I don't know what the fastest speed limit is here, but I thought that road would go up to like 60 or something at some point, but 45 is the fastest I've seen. Maybe they have a uh, surfing championships that they're broadcasting. I don't know. Can is I see anything? World's Cup of Surfing. That's exactly what they're doing. They're broadcasting surfing. That's awesome, dude. Shoot. Like right, the, right on the side of this little uh, bit of beach, there's national news. That's crazy. Dude. I really feel like I'm missing out. I have a motorcycle, you know, I could probably just park right there on the beach and I wouldn't get stopped for like two minutes to tell cop that what was going on. That is really cool. Look, you can see all these humans and all their cameras. That's crazy. That's awesome because I saw surfing on television uh, in the hotel yesterday. I was like, hey, yeah, surfing, who cares? That? Didn't even freaking occur to me that this was probably in Hawaii. So wow, they're broadcasting freaking live surfing over there. That's awesome. I was gonna say the closest thing I've seen to being on the other side of a broadcast camera is a, a statewide one. I've driven by news anchors as they're reporting around my city, but I've also actually been behind the camera of national news 
I'll try to make the story short. Someone in our high school got a blind three-pointer, and then they set the news the next morning, Good Morning America, the whole national thing. All these vans came over, and then they had the film team, which is I was, I was a part of, sit behind... Uh, the cameras. I wasn't on camera on national television, but I was watching it being uh, broadcast and recorded. So I was right there behind the national televisionists. So that was my second kind of experience, I guess, being behind national broadcast. If I was on my sport bike right now, I would be doing a little weaving right now, left and right, especially because this guy is still kind of tailgating me. But only because there's nowhere for me or him to exit off of, I don't want to aggravate him by doing my uh, tailgater discouragement technique, which is basically this. You just do this, and then they leave you alone. Foodland. <laughs> they really named their, rest, their grocery store Foodland. Oh man, if I had a store like Walmart, I would call it Stuff Mart. Ooh, look at, wow. Look at all of the things, dude. If I'm remembering the map generally right, this is gonna take me, uh, straight down and it's actually going to cut off like the whole west side of the island because this highway that goes around doesn't actually go out that far west on oahu by the way i think that's what the island's called but at some point if not now i'm going to be i'm going to be looking out over that part of the island that i'm not going to be able to drive to because I, as far as i saw there's like only dirt paths and private roads which this bike isn't going to do i think i think that might be it right there i think it might be the whole west side of the island chicken chicken and a really weird mutant ostrich thingy down there. I don't know what that bird was. I should have gone down there. <gasps> oh, it scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a yellow Porsche. I was like, whatever you do, do not cross over this double yellow line. People with thousands of hours in the saddle have tested that and found out that it does not end up well for riders. Thank you for your service, experienced riders. Well, now I'm jealous. The girl up in front of me has a windshield wiper. I don't have such luxuries bike life i thought about that i was like would it be like practical to get a like a visor wiper on a helmet i think it'd look hilarious but function wise eh, it's probably more trouble to implement than it is to actually use is this the part when we go faster because i would like that part thank you heavy traffic good i was counting on it i was hoping and wishing upon a star that i was gonna get to sit still in the middle of the road on a manual motorcycle in the rain. Thanks. I don't like being behind cars I can't see behind. This bike sits lower, I think, than mine does. So my visibility is even less so. I'm a tall person when I, I'm on my sport bike, which has a kind of a high seat, I can sit up and see a little bit better. This, this seat's lower is all I'm saying. And that car is a, not a short car. So I can't really see past that car. And I hate that. 35, 35? This is like a highway out here. You want me to go 35? rather die oh man okay those mountains are really cool shucks man i wish there was no clouds up there i'd love to get pictures of that or better yet i'd like to drive up there not hike not use my legs my legs are taking a break i'd like to drive up there that would be cool dude that's interesting the bike tries to go on its own if you like let off the gas in first gear you know and you're kind of like going like five miles an hour it tries to go on its own that's weird not bad just weird my sport bike doesn't do that it like you know just bleh, go down and die this thing was like trying to go on its own kind of like if you were in a four-wheel drive and you're in my jeep it'll try to go on its own in first gear so that was handy i wonder if that's supposed to do that. i assume it's supposed to it's a brand new motorcycle that are really handy for like idling and go on and stand still traffic man i see a lot of jeeps here it makes me miss my jeep so bad i'm just like eh. i want to like i don't know how that works I would like to be able to put my motorcycle on my Jeep and then put the Jeep like onto a ferry or better yet do a Fast and Furious plane airdrop. But if I could somehow get my Jeep here on the island, that would be cool. Oh shoot, I forgot about gas. Uh, it says 69 miles, but I really don't believe that. I and mean, I asked JD, he said, this tells you how many miles are left. And I said, how accurate is it? Is it live or die? He goes, it's, it's, it's good. And I said, it's, it's really good, right? Just not live or die. He goes, yeah, it's really good. I'm like, okay, well, even if that's really good, we could be safe and say it's 50 miles. I do not believe this is 50 miles, but I mean, I, I would trust him, but not the expense of possibly getting stranded in Hawaii with no gas. So I'm going to stop at a gas station when I see one. I'm bored. I want to do my little 
you know, side to side swish thing, which would probably work, but I'm not going to try that in this rain. Whoa, it looks like the last samurai farm fields of Japan out there. I've only seen stuff like that in movies. Wow. Oh, the freaking mountains look awesome out in the fog. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I want to be over here so I can see on you know, the left side, but then I'm going to get sprayed by all those cars. Uh, I don't know what side I want to be on. This is where I usually go. I do a driver's side of the lane so I can see more. It's about visibility, about seeing and being seen. Yeah, huh. I'm worried about getting rain or water on me by other cars. I don't care about all the water I'm soaking in right now because it's raining, but like if that Camaro hits me with water, ah, ah, it's the worst. What the? Whoa, sunshine! What's up? I haven't seen you since I left Kansas. Whoa! The, oh, it's weird. It's, this happens sometimes in Kansas when it's like sun is out, but it's raining anyway. This is funky, dude. And it's, I have ridden before at a moment when the sun was out and it was raining. I remember that. It was a Moto Monday. I was out on the highway going really fast and it was like raining, but the sun was out, so it just made it fun. Now I'm having a good time. Thanks, sunshine. Ooh, oh, oh, neat bridge. I don't know why I care about this bridge so much. There are cooler things in Hawaii. That is really cool. Oh, good. Stand still. Let's all stand still, everybody. Slow down. Quit progressing on this level that is Highway 2 South. Actually, I don't think we're on Highway 2 South yet. <gasps> gas station. I need to go to a gas station. Uh, uh, I guess. Oh, shoot. I should turn left to get in there. Oh, shoot, man. Okay. Hopefully, this is okay. But, uh, that has a bus or two. Oh, there's a gas station right there. Idiot, man. Just, okay, well, I'll, I'll make it to this one eventually, somehow. Oh, boy. Shoot, I could have gone right there. Dang. Well, now I gotta be a patient, good little piggy, and I'll make it. Oh, it's the cops. There he goes. Do you mind? I'm gonna go ahead and pull in right here. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that's some slippery roads right there. Yeah. <laughs> Beat the system. Didn't get pulled over. Aces. <gasps> all right, this will be my first time putting gas in this thing. So, uh, considering all the horrible things that could happen, including a freak, a freak gasoline fight, wish me luck. Oh, gosh darn my shoe. My feet are soaked again. You know what? I think I'm gonna go by Harley Davidson and see if they'll give me some boots because mother of God, I don't like standing in swamp all the time. Take your receipt below, huh? Where is it? Please give me the receipt. I need this. It's a business expense. I'll have to go inside and ask for it. <sighs> Figures. It's the worst day of my life. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of walking in swamp. Puto. What's Puto? Puto? Mini Putus? Have a good day. Oh. Squish, 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 squish. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that. Nice little saddlebags. I don't like the way saddlebags look, really. I like the bike to be slimmer, but I wish I had saddlebags sometimes. I'm gonna detour a little bit, and I'm gonna go to the freaking motorcycle store and try to get some boots that don't have holes in them. All right, click, click. And the fuel gauge is going up. There, it's going up. I was like, it needs to go up, dude. Go up, there you go. All right, how do I reset tank one? 91A, hold that, reset. Okay, cool, makes sense. I'm trying so hard to get over on the road. I can, I can cheat, cheat a little bit. All right, there we go. Sweet, made it back in the flow. This is nothing though, really. I once lived through a winter on my Mick motorcycle back in the day, it was a ZX6R. And I've driven all year round every year with the exception of that time I broke my collarbone. Wasn't right much then, but I've ridden through the year and there was this one winter when I would take my Zixer everywhere over my car. I ride all year round anyway, but like I actually rode it when there was like slush on the ground and it was freezing or below freezing, I would do that regularly, like daily. Now I live a luxurious life where I don't have to do that. I have a car with four wheels to get me around. Oh boy, I think we're actually gonna get in the highway. Whoa, it might go down for real for once. We are gonna take a Harley on the highway in the rain. Please can we go over 45 miles an hour? It'd be pretty cool. I have the best itch. I have the best one. You think you've had 
bad itches, maybe you have. I have a good itch. It is so good right now. I want to flip up my visor to scratch it, but if I do that, I'll get rain shards in my eyes. 55, look at that. It's a whole new speed. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Yes. Don't fall over, motorcycle. Don't let me down. Like, literally, don't let me down. Oh, <laughs> how fast am I going? Oh my gosh, I'm going faster. Slow down. Yes, finally. 